Two new cases of rat lungworm disease have been documented in our state, bringing the total so far this year to three. The health department says one is a Maui man who became sick in February and was briefly hospitalized. The other is a miner who had traveled to the Big Island in January. That person lives in New York and was hospitalized after returning home in late January. That's really unfortunate, and that person was probably contracted the illness early in their stay. They were only here seven to ten days, but yet they had symptoms before they left. So whatever that person did, it was very early in their, in their stay on the Big Island. The Department of Health is hoping to put videos in the airport to educate visitors. And for those of us looking to protect our family, Jen Boniza got an expert to show us how to keep slugs and snails out of the garden. Jen? Joe, tests by the University of Hawaii found infected slugs and snails on every island in Hawaii except Lanai. I met with Joss Silva from the UH College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources to find out how to get rid of the slimy creatures. This is a s slime trail from either a slug or a snail, most likely a slug. The key to preventing rat lungworm disease is locating the culprits that spread it. All about finding where they like to hide and identifying their slime and their their droppings. You want to make sure to inspect your garden for slugs and snails. Check under pots and under bricks, like this one. They love moisture and darkness. The best time to check for them, Silva says, early in the morning. Oh, there's two of them. Are you more likely to get more snails or slugs during wetter weather? Yeah, so with the recent rains, you can expect uh, slug populations to be higher. Once you've found them, there are several steps you can take. The copper bands, these are barriers, or deterrents for the slugs. So for um, this one, you would just apply it to the legs of your growing table, and you just wrap it around. I'm told you should make the barrier four to five inches thick to prevent the snail from crossing it. The copper should be changed monthly. The other option is to physically inspect those areas and you know remove them by hand. But of course, if you're working with slugs, you make sure to use your gloves and also use a tong and put them into what we call a slug jug. Another way to get rid of the pesky buggers is to use bait. Mainly you have um, an active ingredient called metaldehyde, which is very effective, but um, not slightly toxic, so not too safe to use if you have children or pets in your growing area. Inspecting your growing area is important, but Silva says you also have to remember to thoroughly scan and wash every fruit and vegetable before you eat it. Jen, you were talking about bait, uh, one that's slightly toxic. Are there safer options? Yes, there are, Joe. Iron phosphate or ferric EDT, excuse me, ferric EDT are also active ingredients to look for in bait that are safer to use if you have kids or pets. But remember to always read the label first for instructions. We have more information about bait options on our website, kh12.com. Joe?